Hello everyone, welcome to another video. It's Francesco here. I hope you are all very well. And what we'll be doing in this session is running over a application that I reviewed last week called Bear. Now Bear is a note-taking application that is available on iOS and Mac. Today we'll be focusing on the Mac version because there are a few new features, not new features, but different features that aren't on the iOS version. What I'll do though is I won't focus too much on the iOS version. Uh, I'll include that link in the description where you can get a full detail on how to actually use Bear across your day. But I'll be focusing on the things that make the Mac application very unique. So let's start with some of the features. So inside the note, the thing that is different inside the Mac version is the information sheet. So the note looks very similar to the same, but you can actually click on this I button in the top right hand corner and you can get information like words, characters, read time, and cool information like that that's quite detailed. You can also get uh, all the settings from here, so pin to top, copy to clipboard, etc., uh, and obviously some of the export features too. Now they also have a sharing ability here too, so you can actually share uh, to any of the networks you're connected, which is quite cool. And you have the ability to export the note too, which is very handy. Uh, this is if you want to export it to the notes app in your iOS in case you want to move, which is very good. You can also delete from the note, which is great. Uh, there is a really nice calligra calligraphy button at the bottom right hand corner. So obviously in the, um, over the iOS version, you have the ability to change any of the options through the keyboard. So you can just see that above the keyboard. But in this, you have a little button in the corner. They have all command shortcuts, so you basically have to learn those, or you can go in the bottom corner anytime to change those settings, which is quite cool. So in that corner, you obviously got the headings, line separators, all the bold formatting and italics, etc. The link title, which is a URL, which looks really great inside of Bear, and also some of the list and the quoting abilities, and also the to-do ones. There's also the code section that we talked about, and also a really nice file section, which is quite cool. So I attached a picture of some ice cream and it worked really well. Um, and if you have the sync working on premium, uh, you can have that appear on iOS, obviously. So the other thing as well is that you get different inside of the Bear Mac version is the three windows. So you get to see and visualize Bear by either distraction free mode, which basically takes off the side panel and the notes button, uh, the notes feed, sorry, or you can watch it with just the feed and the uh, distraction free window, or uh, you can get the full set, which I have set up uh, originally. Uh, this is actually quite nice. Um, it's just a way for you to keep kind of organized on Mac uh, so that you're not distracted, uh, which is really great. Inside of the Mac version, you also get gestures, so you can actually swipe. Uh, to pin and swipe to trash as well, which is quite cool. Um, not many of the other apps I've seen out there do that very well. Um, so that's quite cool and a bit weird and different. You can also copy as a markdown HTML plain text or rich text, which is quite cool. So if you wanted to export in that uh, format, that's very handy. The settings are also quite great. You can access the shortcuts and you can change how you quickly access Bear. So I've actually got mine set up as Command Shift B. So whenever I click that, it jumps over to Bear, quickly open the tab, which is quite handy. You also got the ability to edit the markdown. And then there's all of the regular premium features, which you can go into detail with. Um, but that's just very similar to the iOS version. When I was looking at this, I had a lot of people messaging me, uh, one Anthony Gorner, who said that it did remind him very much of the U Ulysses, I can't really pronounce it, Ulysses uh, Mac application. And I had a look, and it does look very similar. Um, the experience, they've they've got probably down to a T, the colors look a bit different on Ulysses, and, and obviously Ulysses is more expensive, and you also get to um, use it for writing in detail, like long pieces. So Ulysses has a bit more sort of value for the writer, the long writer, but the Mac Bear, the Bear Mac application, uh, there were some cons that I found. Stretching the screen was a bit difficult because it only had like a set setting. Uh, I wanted to make it really tiny, like a little post-it note, but it really didn't have that ability. But then again, I don't know whether, how you'd be using it, so you know I might be completely wrong. Um, there was a couple of issues uh, when I was looking at it from a sort of standpoint, if you download this and you don't get the sync, in which is a premium feature, then obviously uh, the, the the benefit, the, the loss, sorry, is basically that you don't get to sync between Macs. So, so really, the 
freemium features are quite limited, but again, uh, it's something you're paying for. So really good experience in the end once you get it set up. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it's pretty much the same to the iOS app, so definitely go check the iOS app review out that I did. Uh, I'm going to cover this more over the next couple of weeks. I'm going to try and get premium as well, uh, so you guys can get a real exploration into what are the benefits when you're using that. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you liked it, uh, drop a like. If you really liked it, well, actually, no, if you just like the channel in general, do drop me a subscription. Uh, I make videos every Monday and Friday. I also try and make them Wednesday now, which is quite tricky. But, you know, I really love uh, sharing the best productivity apps out there. And I'm sure I can find one that works for you, whether it's a note-taking one or a task management or a calendar one. Uh, and I'm always available by email as well. So C-E-S-I-D-A-L-E-S-S-I-O -S -S at gmail.com. And you guys can email me any of your questions or queries about an application about, you know, even whether you want to use it or not. But anyway, guys, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Do let me know in the comments what you think of Bear on Mac and whether you're using it and or whether you're using a competitor. But anyway, guys, thank you very much. Make sure to have a great week. Keep productive and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.